Okay, guys, so check it out. Your bones are hard because they contain what's called calcium carbonate in them. Carbonate is the word of interest today. We're going to be testing rocks for carbonates. Wait a minute, Mr. Melham. What do you mean here? Hold on. You just said carbonates are in bones. Are you telling me these rocks can possibly also have carbonates in them? That's exactly what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that some rocks contain carbonates, which is, again, what's found in bones. Wait, okay, so hold on, Mr. Melham. Does that mean that some rocks form out of bones? Kind of. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into that actually right now. Check it. Look, listen. If you take anything that has bones, you know it's got carbonates, including fish and dolphins and things that live in the sea that have bones. When those animals die, they go to the bottom, they fall to the bottom of the ocean, right? Their bones stack on top of each other and that carbonate that's inside of the bones starts oozing out of the bone. And it makes like a big kind of mud ball of, well, it's not really mud, but it makes a big stack of, cal of calcium carbonate, which hardens over time and turns into stone. So the bones pile on top of each other, the carbonate oozes out of them, and they mush together and turn into stone. Wait, Mr. Melm, do you, are you tell me one of these might have carbonates in them? Yeah. In fact, there's a very simple test that we use to test for carbonates, to see if a rock has carbonates or not. Not all rocks have carbonates because not all rocks form from carbonates that ooze out of fish bones. But some rocks do. Uh, some of these do, in fact. Here's the test. You take a little bit of vinegar and you drip it on the stone. If it fizzes, you know it's got carbonates. That's it. That's as simple as it is. And then you can group the rocks together. The ones that have carbonates in them can go into one pile. The ones that don't have carbonates can go into another pile. And you can organize rocks that way based on properties. So let's test the first rock. We'll take a little bit of vinegar. This is limestone, by the way. And limestone is, well, let's see. I'll tell you how it's formed in a bit. But let's, let's zoom into it so we can see if it fizzes or not. Put it right here. Get even closer. Let's go like that. Ready? When you mark, it's set. Drip! And we'll wait. And we'll wait some more. Doesn't look like it's doing much. Oh, here it is. Look really close. Oh man, I could see this here. I don't know if you can. Let me let me get really close. Push the zoom autofocus. See those bubbles? That's amazing. That's fizz, baby. That's fizz. This rock has calcium or not calcium carbonate. It has carbonates. And that's the proof. The vinegar is fizzing on top of it. That means this stone here formed from dead fish bones. Test another rock. That's cool, hey? Hey, where is it? It's fizzing. Okay, let's test another one. Let's test, um, what do we have next? We've got chlorite. Uh, we'll drip a little bit of this on chlorite. Let's get in close. Gonna brighten it up a bit. Ah, oh, Mr. Melman, it's blurry. Okay, I'll fix it. Don't worry. I got it. Here we go. We'll drip some of this on chlorite and let's see what happens. And we'll watch and we'll wait. Sometimes it takes, you know, a few seconds. You got to sit and wait. Nothing really is happening on this one. It's just doing nothing. We'll put it on the side in case it starts to fizz a little later. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes they just got to take a while. Let's test this one now. Let's test the calcite. Drip it on calcite. And we'll wait. Let me move this underneath. Zoom in a bit closer. Don't worry, I'll fix it. I know it's blurry. I could see it. Now, if you look closely, we do have some bubbles forming. 
You could see them. They're little round circles. Can you see them? It's not fizzing as much as it did on the limestone, but we do have some bubble formation. Can you see them? The little dots? Let me try to brighten it up a little bit so you could see it better. Oh, that's too bright. Should dim it. Ah, there we go. You could see some bubbles moving. You see that? That's amazing. This here, this calcite does have carbonate. In fact, calcite and limestone are very similar in terms of uh, the amount of carbonates that they have. It's not fizzing as much as the limestone, but it's still making some fizz pop. In fact, there's a lot of bubbles. And let's test this last one here. We got, I'm going to zoom out of this. We don't even have to zoom in. This one's going to be very obvious once you see what it is. This is baking soda. <gasps> baking soda? Isn't that what you put in volcanoes and, and add vinegar and make them blow up? It's exactly what it is. In fact, the chemical name of baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. Carbonate! There's carbonates in them. Yeah, there's carbonates. Wait, Mr. Mel, does that mean that also came from dead fish bones? It's exactly where it came from, guys. Carbonate, things with carbonates come from fish bones. It's amazing and it's true. So here we go. Let's drip this on. We all know what's going to happen. It's going to start to bubble. Yeah, I know. You want to get close into this. I'll zoom in. Here, I'll move it over like that. All right, are you ready? Wait, focus it. I got it. Here we go. Drip it. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of fizz. You know why? Because it has a lot of carbonate in it. Let's put some more. This is great. This is what science is all about. Making things fizz and pop and blow up. We won't make anything blow up, though. We're just going to fizz this. And there you have it, the carbonate test.